We're still on, and this is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis, and we're trying a new twist today. And to my left, first time ever, rookie on the mic, my executive producer, Alex Doblowski. Alex, I'll let you introduce your uh, friend. Alex is going to, we're going to be talking about the business of rugby today. Right, Alex? Right, you got it. Well, the friend that's joining us today, it's my head coach, Robin Pierce from the Boston 13s. Welcome, Robin. Thank you. So, uh, what, Alex, you're going to have to help me here. Tell us about the business. What is this business of rugby? Is it a business? Uh, well, wh why don't we have Robin tell us that? Robin, tell us a little bit about the Boston 13s and the organization itself. Yeah, so the, the Boston 13s are a semi-professional rugby team based out of, uh, based out of Boston. Um, we represent the, the, the city of Boston and Massachusetts in the USA Rugby League. Uh, the USA Rugby League has 14 teams from Boston in the north all the way down to Tampa in the south. Yeah, we're in New York, Washington, Orlando, Jacksonville, Atlanta, all those type of uh, big, big cities on the east coast. And you sell tickets? Uh, we don't sell tickets right now. We used to. We used to play at the MIT Stadium. We used to sell tickets each game. But uh, we've moved out of the city, so we figured um, we get more people there just by uh, by letting every people come to watch the games for free. Yeah, we sell beer instead of tickets. I, I mean, I have my own theories. How come? Why don't you think rugby has taken on a bigger following in the United States than it has? Because it, you know, f everybody loves football. So what? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, since I've been here three years ago, rugby has has taken huge strides. Um, it's going to be in the Olympics next year, which should really help our profile. Um, and yeah, we just uh, we just need to more people to see the game, more people to see it, understand it, and I think it will take off eventually. And isn't football a derivative of rugby, American uh, football? That's what I understand. I from what I understand, they all came from soccer originally. Um, because uh, I know rugby came from soccer because somebody at rugby school in, in, in England decided to pick the ball up during a soccer game and run with it. Uh, some some people on the field weren't too happy with that, so he said, well, I'm going to start a new sport where you're allowed to pick it up and run. And, uh, and, and yeah, again, uh, football here in America, it, it is very similar to rugby. You, with you, the forward pass. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you Generally, you're, sort of, you're running with the ball, and then eventually, uh, is that right, they introduced the forward pass later? Right. Yeah. Forward pass sort of came later, but that's I think the big differentiator, and all the pads. Yeah. So uh, yeah. so yeah, in rugby, there uh, there aren't really any pads. You can wear a head guard if you want, and you can wear shoulder pads if you want. But I don't think I know anybody who wears shoulder pads in the U.S. Uh, playing uh, playing rugby. Um, a mouth guard is usually uh, usually recommended. So know. Alex is on your team, right? You're the coach. Yeah, I'm the coach, and Alex is on our team. He's uh, he's he's one of our wingers, one of our fast, speedy guys. All right. Tell us a little bit about the history of the Boston 13s. I know I've been around for only one season, so I don't know much of the history. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the history of the Boston 13s, when it started. and Yeah, so the the team was founded in 2009 by, uh, by a Harvard graduate named Mick, uh, Mick Shamas. Um, he'd, uh, he'd learned his rugby league in, in England and in Lebanon and played in university in Lebanon, and he came to Harvard for, uh, I think he did a master's at Harvard, and then decided to form the team in 2009. Um, we we made the playoffs in the first season in 2009, but it wasn't really until 2012 that we really started to, to move the team on. That, that's the season I came on board as the, the coach. We brought Dustin Cooper, who is a, a professional from Australia. He uh, He's played six years in the top competition in Australia. I think it's called the National Rugby League, the NRL probably the equivalent of the NFL uh, over here. And, um, and yeah, we made the grand final in 2012, but we, we got beat off Jacksonville by one score. Um, we've been building and building through 2013 and 2014, and now we're in, now we're in 2015, we're back in the grand final, and uh, it's next weekend, and we really hope that we're going to take the title home this time. So, Robin, if somebody wants to uh, go see the Boston 13s or support them, how do they find you? Yeah, so we, uh, we certainly... Are, are visible on on social media find find us on facebook find us on twitter check out our website www.boston13s.com the 13 in that is uh, is numerical um we play on saturdays throughout the summer uh, generally out of canton massachusetts at the irish cultural center 